Sorry about that guys, uh, I got a phone call from my mother. So we're gonna go ahead and take this dish daddy and go ahead and put it in my little cleaning utensil here and see what it is. All right. If none of you guys know, I am big on smells. I am huge on smells. Like I love good smell, okay? Off the bat, um, Okay, off the bat, the dish daddy's uh, dish detergent. Okay, Don, it smells like, to me, Don smells like blue and like kind of chemical. It smells like chemicals a little bit and like blue and like, I don't know. Dish daddy smells like. It smells like a fresh shower, almost. Uh, one thing I did notice is, um, I'm not sure if there, if this is, if the Don is, uh, the Don is more thick. The Don is a lot more thick and there's less soap. Uh, this to me, I, I think it, might be watered down because it's not as thick as the Dawn and there's a little bit of suds at the top. I'm not sure, but we're going to try it out anyway. Oh no, yeah, this is thick. Oh no. Okay, uh... So, it's kind of dark. So this is how it looks when it's in there. It's kind of dark. Uh, Don, Don is uh, it's a little bit more, I don't know. I don't know what to tell you, but we're gonna try it out. So now we're gonna do this side of the pot or the pan and see what it does. Okay, so it, it suds up really good actually. did its job pretty good. I didn't even really have to agitate too much. I didn't have to scrub it as much as I noticed it's doing its job too. It's setting up and you can tell that it's like trying to kill the grease and the dirt or whatever is in there, but it's actually doing its job. I'm gonna rinse it and see how good it looks. When I rinsed it after cleaning it with the Dawn, you could still see a little bit of residue um, and it didn't look as clean. So let's see what we got here. Yeah, so pretty impressive. It, it left one little gunk of, uh, you guys probably can't see it, but there's like some gunk there. That's all left there. I, maybe I didn't rinse it. Yeah, it, it, it came out pretty good. So, um, the other thing that I'm going to be looking for is um, I want to make sure that it doesn't mess up my hand. Okay. I don't know what's going on with YouTube. I, I think I got to see how it smells afterwards. It smells okay. So the pan's done. Um, See what else? This has uh, like just your regular. This is like some pasta sauce or something. Let's go ahead and see what we can do with that. So, I mean, so far I'm pretty impressed. It's doing the same exact thing Don does. Um, as far as one being safer than the other, I'm not a hundred percent sure. Um, Dawn, it seems like, um, I mean, they got to be somewhat safe. They say they could get grease off of uh, ducks. That's the only reason why my wife was willing to support them was because of uh, the good or, or because of the pictures of the ducks on the Dawn, on the Dawn bottle, like this. 
she was willing to buy it because it had these two ducks and said that it saves ducks' lice from oil spills. So, uh, but I mean, I like it. It smells like soap. Uh, it doesn't smell too chemical. It doesn't smell like a lot of chemicals. It smells like soap. Uh, but the real test will be at the end and if my hand, how my hands feel. Because I wash dishes without gloves. What's the point of washing dishes with gloves? I, I, I want to wash dishes with something that's not that harmful or something that, because, you know, I don't want, I use these dishes, you know? My wife uses these dishes, my daughter uses these dishes. So I don't want to be washing it with something that can be harmful to us, you know? So I don't know how harmful these are. I didn't ask uh, my, my chemist if these are harmful or not. I just said, hey man, I noticed you got some dish detergent there. I would love to use the dish. Oh, wait a minute. I was, I was just trying to make sure that it was dish detergent and not, because he also has laundry detergent as well. So, um, but if all goes well with this, I'll definitely be getting the, the dish. I mean, the, I'll definitely be getting any type of chemicals that are for the home because it's affordable. It's, I mean, this is, this is really, really affordable. So I, I am impressed so far. Uh, my hands don't feel like they're, they're any type of chemical reaction. It feels good. Uh, it's, it's doing its job. It's cleaning these damn dishes pretty good. Uh, the only problem that I would have to say is, I think it's, uh, it's, it's, it's not as thick as Don, so it might be a little bit watered down in my eyes. Just, that's just my opinion, you guys. But, I mean, it, it just seems like it, it has a lot of water in it. I don't know. But, I mean, I guess that would be more safer in the long run, right? More water versus chemical. But, I don't know. So, I'm impressed. I, I'm, I'm literally impressed, you guys. Uh, I'm impressed. I really am. And I mean, if there's anybody that works at flea markets or resells, like uh, I see, so I went to a flea market one time and I see guys there with uh, big, big pails and saying uh, they had something that was similar to Tide, but not Tide, and they were selling it like that. And same thing as with this uh, soap. So, but like I said, you have to be careful if you're going to a flea market or something like that. I've never purchased it from them or nothing like that. And I would never purchase like an off brand or anything like that. But this is somebody that I know personally that is an actual chemist. He's not saying, oh, I'm a chemist. No, no, no. no he's an actual chemist. Like formulas. He knows formulas. Like he's a chemist, okay? And he's a very, very humble guy as well. I mean, he's a very, very nice friend. Uh, I don't just consider him like uh, somebody that I do business with, but I consider him a friend too. So, and that's how I feel about all of you guys that are watching. Every single one of you guys that are watching, I consider you a friend. If you're on my Facebook, you're a friend. If you're on my Instagram, you're a friend. If you're on my Snapchat, your friend. If you do, if you watch any of my videos, hit the like button, or if you subscribe to my YouTube, anything, guess what? You're my friend. If you support this movement, then you're my friend. Okay, so finally came into a problem. So I had some beans, uh, some like uh, kidney beans. This is the first time I'm, I'm, I have to scrub. And I, I'll show you guys what I've been washing so far, but this is the first time I had to scrub with this soap. The rest of the, the pot or the pans and uh, the, the cups and all the spoons and stuff, I did not have to 
to scrub that, but I'm having to scrub this pan that had kidney beans in it. So let's see if that gets it out. Usually with Don, I like the way it smells too. It doesn't smell, it sm I don't know. It's got a, it's got like a blue smell to it as well. But I don't know, it just smells, I don't know. I don't know. I can't say if I like that smell. I can't say if I don't like that smell. I, okay, so it looks like it got everything out. So, okay. Uh, just a little quick show you guys what we're working with so far. What we did clean, we did clean this. We cleaned all these dishes here. We cleaned this nice little thing here, this pan here. So everything came out pretty good. So I'm really, really happy. I'm excited about that. But what I'm excited about the most, sorry fishies, I'm over here like running this water. What I'm excited about the most, you guys, is that I am the newest member of the Soap Daddy team, okay? Alright? I'm that dude, okay? Newest member to the Soap Daddy team. Point blank period, all right? So, if you guys clean carpets or if you're thinking about starting a business or doing anything that has to do, I can't even close this dang thing. He done filled it to the top. So this is where you wanna go with. Prime time, Enzyme Linen. They got uh, a couple of other different scents too. And my go-to uh, pre-spray usually is Bio 8. It has a citrus smell, but like I said in the part one of this video, I called 20 of my repeat customers and all of you said that you would prefer a rain scent or a linen scent or a fresh scent over a fruity scent. And that's crazy to me because I love, I mean, beyond love the fruity smell. So, um, Happy as heck about this dish daddy thing right here. Um, great purchase. Great, great purchase. Um, <laughs> I don't think we'll need any dish soap. We won't need no dish soap anytime soon. We won't need it no time soon. Uh, I should have asked them if I had to shake it up or something, but yeah, man, I like it. So. Thanks a lot for uh, helping me save some money, DeAndre. Cause uh, yeah, that's gonna save us some money, big time. And I'm happy about that. So now the next review is gonna be on uh, the, the laundry detergent he has. So anyways, you guys, thank you for tuning in to my YouTube. If you aren't subscribed already, Please subscribe, hit that like button, and uh, welcome to the Dirty Buckets. That's what we're going to call y'all. The team, Dirty Buckets, man. We out here showing y'all how to get these carpets clean, um, and that's that. Oh, yeah, one more thing I want to show you guys, because this is one thing that I'm proud of about our business. I'm not sure. I'm not sure how many of your carpet cleaners can get this. But we are actually certified, okay? Um, we're not only certified, but we're licensed to do this, okay? So we're certified and licensed, okay? All right, so. Anyways, again, you guys, thank you so much for watching. Thank you for tuning in. Uh, thank you for the support. And uh, guys, have a good one.